How are you feeling, first of all, after completing the race? Uh, shattered. Um, yeah, my body's a bit sore. But you know what, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a horrible pain for parts of it, but the camaraderie between everyone, the, the treats I got from the little kids, the bananas, the sweets, all that kind of stuff, that kind of spurred me on. Because there's definitely a, a dark moment out there. But anyway, I've, I've completed that, I've got a time which I wanted to do. So I'm really pleased. What, what's the, the dark moment? Is that sort of hitting the wall at some point? <laughs> yeah, it, it came quite early, to be honest. So when you kind of went out to Canary Wharf and Docklands, and because the sport's a bit quiet around there, whereas when you come kind of back into town, the sport was absolutely incredible. So um, yeah, the wall, uh, it definitely hits you. My hamstrings are just about hanging on, uh, which is quite nice. And that's the thing, I'm, I'm through, I'm injury free, which is quite nice. I'm going to be aching for some time, I imagine. Um, but no, I'm proud of my first marathon and will I do another one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Too early to say. Exactly. And you're obviously a great sportsman, but how does running 26.2 miles compare to, to your rugby career in terms of the challenge? Um, yeah, very, very different. Um, it was definitely a huge like, mental test today, um, especially when it was wet out there. Um, but everyone was so happy. Everyone's so happy and you were kind of in the flow. Probably went up a little quicker than I, than I thought about. But yeah, those last, those last kind of six miles were pretty tough. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you run it in? I think it was 3.52. Oh, wow. So my watch says, uh, but my phone's packed in for some reason. Yeah. Um, which is, yeah, a bit hard. Yeah, speedy time. Um, I read before as well that you'd only run eight miles to practice. Is that, is that no, right? No, I, I ran no. 21 miles. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, was no, I, say. I did a fair bit. I did a, a good amount of training. I, yeah. Yeah, about three and a half months or so. So I was there, uh, yeah, pleased with that. Yeah. And you were running for, is it the Curse Lake? Yeah, the Curse Lake Robshaw Foundation. So me and my yeah. wife set a foundation up to empower young lives through music and sport. Mm -hmm. um, and again, someone always said to me kind of when I started this journey, that at some point in the marathon, at some point in training, you're going to need to remind yourself why you're running it. But it's tough. And it is tough. And you see some of the bodies out there now. Um, and yeah, there's some pretty sore people. Mm -hmm.